Hello guys, good to have you back. In today's Node video full editing tutorial, course 4, we're going to learn how to create an advanced After Effects Saber outline in Node video app. But first, I'll teach you everything you need to know about Node video Saber outline effect. To start, I've created a solid layer where all the Saber work will be done. This is the Saber outline editing panel, showcasing all its properties. Here's a quick tip. To create a circular Saber outline, click on the circle icon over here or click the rectangle icon to create a rectangular Saber outline. Tab on the monitor screen for custom outlines. These points are called control points. You can use them to draw or create Saber outlines on object layers. Click the delete icon to delete selected control points. Click the linear angle to correct bend lines. The curve allow you to control Saber edges while the angle below it combines curve and linear adjustments. Long press and drag the cursor to select multiple control points. This enables easy control and adjustment to multiple control points. The preset includes types of Saber outlines, such as electricity, golden lighting, and solar, useful for compositing energy effects in VFX editing. Below it is the custom color that allow customization of your preferred color look. Intensity adjusts the Saber outline strength. You can either choose to reduce it or increase it. And the flash helps you to create cool Saber outline animations. Next, the animation property. This feature allow you to add animations to the start and end points of the Saber outline. The start offset controls how Saber effects start, while the end offset controls how they stop. You can adjust the start size and end size to change the Saber effects size at the beginning and end. The evolution allow you to transform the Saber outline's shape, size, or style over time. To use start and end offsets, follow this example. If you find the Saber edge disturbing, you can fix it by reducing the Saber outline start size and add a keyframe to it. You can also apply the same method to fix the end size. Next, let's explore the wind animation. The wind animation has two properties, direction and speed. The direction property allows you to control the motion of the saber outline. Dragging the numbers down moves the outline to the right, while dragging them up moves it to the left. On the left-hand side, you can adjust the speed of the wind animation. Pulling the numbers down reduces the speed, while dragging them up increases it. The speed property controls the overall speed of the saber outline effect. Here's a practical example of how the wind animation works. The Saber Core property helps brightens up the Saber outline. You can choose to reduce or increase its value. 
The spread property allow you to adjust the size of the saber brightness. But most times, I like leaving the saber core turned off. Next, the distortion layer. This property provides more control over the saber outline. You can also change the distortion type to cloud, liquid, fire, Voronoi, vine, or line, depending on the energy effect you want to create. Increasing or reducing the distortion changes the size or appearance of the saber outline. With this, you can easily create laser beam or lightsaber effect. The size property increases the brightness of the saber outline, while the spread property has a similar effect but with different outcomes. The noise property adjusts the distortion speed of the saber outline. The noise scale controls the texture size, low noise scale smooths the outline, while high noise scale adds grain and texture. The noise aspect property changes the characteristics or pattern of the saber outline. However, I usually leave it at its default settings. The noise complexity property increases or reduces the level of detail within the saber outline. Lastly, the hue property changes the color tone of the saber outline. To add another saber outline, turn on distortion layer 2. The distortion layer 2 also has the same properties as distortion layer 1. Now, let's explore how to use the saber outline keyframe. Click the clock icon to activate keyframe animation. Keyframes are added when you change the control point's position. By doing this, you can add animation to the saber outline. As you can see, I just created Star Wars Laser Blaster by adding simple keyframes. The center, scale, and rotation properties work like the transformation panel for the saber outline. The center property moves the control point from one position to the other. while the scale property adjusts the size of the saber outline and the rotation property rotates the outline. The paste and copy property allows you to copy and paste transformations or animations applied to the saber outline. Now that you know all the functions of Node Video Saber Outline, we will finally create this saber animation using Node Video Editor. So here's the original video footage without the saber outline. So first, let's start by adding saber outline to video. Next, I will click on the circle icon to create a circle saber outline and adjust the outline to fit the car wheel. To get a good look, I will change the saber distortion form to line. Next, I will reduce the distortion saber outline. So I'm going to do some little adjustments to the size and spread of the saber outline. Now I feel more satisfied with my result. To add rotation animation to the car wheel, increase the start offset. Ooh, 
and after that here's how it looks. Next we're going to add animation by adding keyframe to the evolution property. So with the first step complete, here's a playback. To increase the animation speed, adjust the speed amount. And here's a playback review. To resolve the saber outline going out of composition, we're going to apply motion tracking. Unfortunately, the saber outline is not visible, so we can't apply motion tracking directly. But to overcome this, I'm going to save all saber work to a preset and rename it saber effect. Next, add an adjustment layer. Now I'm going to add the saber outline to adjustment layer. And finally, click on the saber effect to paste all saber work. Using this method, we have just moved all saber work to the adjustment layer. Now apply motion tracking to the saber outline. So I'm going to change the track point shape from rectangle to circle now I resize and adjust it to fit the car wheel. Before applying motion tracking, I will increase tracking accuracy to 0.8% and change the motion type to position and scale. And finally, start tracking. After that, apply tracking to the adjustment layer. As you can see, the icon over here shows that Motion Tracker has been applied to Saber Outline, and just like that, tracking problem is solved. I'm going to quickly add color grading to the video footage in Other to add more depth and cool looks to the Saber Outline. To learn more about Node Video Color Grading, check on this video description. There I provide a link where I made a separate tutorial covering everything you need to know about Node Video Color Grading property. So here's the final playback of all the work done so far. If you learned something new, kindly drop a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more Node video tutorials. Until next time, stay blessed.